Hello, my name is John Broadwell. I'm an independent embedded systems consultant and the principal engineer at Broadwell Consulting Incorporated. And I'm also the creator of the Serial Wombat open source project. In this video, we're going to look at how to get started with the Serial Wombat 4B, uh, an I2C based Serial Wombat smart IO expander that's available in a kit on Amazon. You may be able to get it from other places as well because it's open source software and there's really nothing to stop other people from programming and selling it to you. But this particular video is based on the kit that I put together. Let's take a quick look at what's in the kit. Here we can see the kit contents that come in a static resistant Mylar bag. The kit consists of four Serial Wombat 4B chips. You'll note that the four chips each have a dot in a different corner. That represents the I2C address. 6C, 6D, 6E, and 6F. Along with the chips comes a thermally printed uh, plastic label. We manufacture these ourselves using a brother thermal label printer. If anyone is aware of a label manufacturer that's capable of die cutting labels that are 0.25 by 0.4 inches and have a bleed of about a 64th of an inch or less, please let me know because I'd love to have these professionally made instead of making them in house. You can cut each of these apart in order to apply them. I recommend that you use a hobby knife to do that. The tolerance between one label and the next is quite small, and it has to be that way, otherwise they would hang over the end of the chip or not reach. Uh, so I recommend you do these with a hobby knife. If you try to do them with scissors, the odds that you'll get in the wrong spot are pretty high. So cut them with one of these. You can apply those to the chips. Uh, there are four 100 nanofarad capacitors. Each serial wombat should have a 100 nanofarad capacitor between power and ground. That's to help run uh, stably. And there's a card that's included uh, that shows the pinout and includes a link to the GitHub and some of the most relevant electrical specifications for the chip. So now we'll I'll cut these apart real quick and put the labels on the chips. Then we'll put together a breadboard circuit that will show how they work. So let's take a look at the circuit that we just put together. We put our Serial Wombat 6C, 6D, 6E, and 6F, those are the I2C addresses, all onto the breadboard. We attached the two ground planes together, the two uh, supply rails together. We put our bypass capacitors on all four Serial Wombats to assure that they will run smoothly. Then we attached power and ground according to our diagram. We attached the SDA line from I2C to the Arduino and to each of the four Wombats. And we attached the SCL line to the Arduino in each of the four Wombats. And we added two pull-up resistors on the I2C bus. The Arduino Uno by default will have weak pull-ups turned on. However, it's a good idea to add your own pull-ups. I used 5.1Ks here. Uh, opinions vary as to what you should use. And that also varies with your circuit uh, length and the number of devices that you're driving. We applied power to the Arduino Uno, which then up gave five volt power to this bus. And at this point, we can load a sketch. Here we are in the Arduino development environment. I'm using Arduino 1.8.1. 13 at this point to do the development. So you probably want to have at least this version if you want to ensure compatibility. So the first thing we need to do is add the Serial Wombat library. So go into Manage Libraries.
type the word wombat and you'll find the serial wombat library. Right now, I'm the only one who has any libraries for this. These uh, examples, you wanna get the ones from Broadwell Consulting Incorporated. Hit install. The library is installed, hit close. Then you can go up to file, examples, scroll down and we can go to Serial Wombat and choose Wombat Finder. What this sketch does is it cycles through all of the possible I squared C addresses looking for Serial Wombats. So let's say sketch and upload it to our Arduino Uno. And we'll also enable the serial monitor so we can see what happens. And we can see what did it find? The Serial Wombat finder. It found a serial wombat at 6C, at 6D, at 6E, and at 6F. So all four of our chips are working pop properly and are properly attached to the I squared C bus. It notes the model number, which is a serial wombat 4B, and the firmware version that's in the serial wombat. It's possible to upgrade the firmware version if you're not on the latest version. It also measures the source voltage. There's a separate video on measuring analog voltages that talks all about how to properly measure your source voltage. This should be all it takes to get started. At this point, you have working serial wombats from your Arduino over the I2C bus. You can watch a variety of other videos I have. There's one on controlling servos. There's one on debouncing buttons. There's one on controlling, uh, on reading quadrature encoders. There's one on using plain old digital I.O. There's one on using the Serial Wombat to expand uh, your UART capabilities by adding an additional UART over I squared C. There's one on reading analog inputs and there's one on protected outputs that can shut off in the case of a fault or a short. And there's one on watchdogs where you can use the Serial Wombat as an external watchdog to reset your Arduino if your sketch would lock up or stop responding, or to shut off an input in the result in the event that you're no longer getting communication from your Arduino. So good luck with your Serial Wombat. If you've successfully run this, uh, this first application, leave me a comment below. If you have issues, you can leave a comment down there as well, or hints for other users, suggestions for improvements. I love to hear feedback. Good luck, and I hope you enjoy your Serial Wombat. The Serial Wombat firmware is available on GitHub and is constantly being updated. Subscribe below so that you can see the latest features and videos that come out as we fix bugs and add new features to the Serial Wombat. The Serial Wombat open source project was created by Broadwell Consulting Incorporated. Broadwell Consulting Incorporated provides help developing medical devices with a focus on developing embedded firmware, which is compliant with IEC 62304, ISO 14971 and ISO 13485, as well as remediation assistance for products already in production. For more information, contact John at Broadwell Consulting. Support requests for Serial Wombat should be sent to help at serialwombat.com and will be answered on an as-available basis. Questions sent to John at Broadwell Consulting about Serial Wombat will not be returned.